What's up guys? My name is Billy. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do a dope little speed drawing for you inspired by Disney and 90s cartoons using some really awesome alcohol-based markers that I copped off of Amazon for around 30 to 40 bucks. The main difference between your typical water-based marker and your alcohol-based marker is that these markers have the ability to blend and in my opinion, they leave a much more professional look on your illustrations and they don't smudge. So there's all kinds of different brands ranging from Copic, which is like seven to eight bucks a marker. And then you have all kinds of cheap brands as well. This is a combination of Spectrum Noir and Shuttle Art. In my opinion, uh, those are the two brands I think that hit that sweet spot in terms of what you're getting for what you're paying. I really enjoy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little demonstration of what I did with them. And I am gonna have a hint of Sharpie in there and a little Posca pen there. But if you like what you see, like the video, comment below, let me know what you thought, and please subscribe for future content like this. Feel free to follow me on my other platforms as well for similar content. Enjoy the video. There we have it. We have some classics in there, some doodles and some Rick Sanchez, because he's he's relevant in all realities. <laughs> I didn't want to bore you guys with more outline because I basically just went back over everything with Sharpie and Copic liners to get the proper thick lines where needed and just touched up and added a few things before going in with the color. It's super important to me to get my outline as structured as possible before I hit it with markers. But here's the rest of it, enjoy. there's 99% of it. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Now just going in and hitting it with some Posca pens. Uh, so these are acrylic based markers. So they draw like a marker, but they lay down like paint. So the colors are very opaque. I went in previously before using this pink pen here and used a white one to highlight some of the characters eyes and to give the background a space effect. Uh, these markers are effective on most surfaces, especially more rugged textures like wood or canvas. In this video, I'm using cardstock marker paper that's really thick and durable that can withstand the nibs of these markers. The only surface these pens are not great on is regular lightweight paper. So I especially like them because they allow me to add final touches to a picture like this here. To sort of give Patrick and the crazy doodles bursting from his head some kind of structure and association. Poor Patrick, getting his head absolutely mangled by Sandra. But yeah, 
this was a fun process. I really enjoyed it. Again, these markers are excellent for the quality uh, and what you're paying for. Really enjoyed the process, but definitely check them out. They're down below. If you stay to the end of the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Feel free to throw a comment down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. See you later.